France Vanquer correspondent Annette Young joins us now from Bethlehem. Annette, a rift in his own party and a rift between Fatah and Hamas, which appears as large as ever. This is hardly a Congress bringing things together. Well, it's to be expected. And the Palestinian leader, of course, uh, blamed Hamas for Gaza's suffering. Uh, we've seen 1.4 million Palestinians living in Gaza, uh, living under an Israeli and Egyptian blockade since the Hamas takeover back in June 2007. Now, uh, the president went on to contrast their position with his achievements in the West Bank, stating that he'd restored a sense of normalcy and had obtained West Bank residency rights from Israel for tens of thousands of Palestinians. But uh, while attacking Hamas, he also said it was important for the two uh, parties to reach an agreement in unity talks. Now, it's vital for Fatah, a party that's seen by many in uh, Palestine as being corrupt and run by an ageing leadership, to pitch itself as a viable alternative to Hamas. Of course, it's still reeling from its poor performance in the 2006 elections, which saw Hamas gain the majority of seats in the Palestinian parliament. You've already uh, cited their reasons why people uh, maybe doubt uh, Abbas's leadership. Uh, what is his own situation then? Well, he has a tough job during this Congress, uh, mainly having to keep all the various factions within Fatah happy. For instance, his ambiguous statements yesterday that Fatah wants peace but is not going to rule out resistance is really a nod to the hardliners within his party. He's also wanting a formal endorsement of his policy to pursue negotiations with Israel, which is reflected in the draft policy platform that will be voted on tomorrow, which seemingly marginalises the armed struggle while emphasising peace talks and non-violent protests. And at the at the same time, he's going to have to work very hard to try and keep the younger generation of members happy. Uh, they're pushing uh, for a massive party reform and also for a number of seats in the party's two leadership bot uh, bodies. Uh, his position as de facto leader of Fatah is not up for grabs, but dozens are vying for the 140 seats on the Central Committee and Ruling Council. Annette Young there reporting from Bethlehem. Of course, more uh, from Annette as the Fatah Congress continues.